Scooter here. Today we're going to review the AV30C by UAvionics. <music> Aviation, the way it was meant to be. It's UAvionics, three inch gauge, that's a full EFA system. Really, if you had two of them, you'd have a primary flight display and a, and a multi-function flight display. I've got one in this aircraft. One of the things I like about it is that I can take a round instrument and put it in a round hole instead of trying to put a square instrument in a round hole. And I can keep the classic look that this uh, Stinson has while gaining the situational awareness and safety that having an EFIS on board gives you. All the information that I want can be displayed on one instrument. So the AV30 is a uh, 14 in one customizable flight display. And uh, it includes a primary attitude indicator, a primary slip, a primary directional indicator, probeless angle of attack, indicated airspeed, customizable both to knots and miles per hour, altitude, vertical trend, and uh, an alerter for that. It's a G meter on board, outside air temperature, true air temperature, density altitude. It shows bus voltage. It also has a GPS uh, navigational data overlay. And then you have customizable fonts and fields and layouts. The other thing that UAvionics has done is they've given us this great instrument at a very uh, consumer friendly price. Uh, UAvionics is upsetting the industry with uh, the tail beacon, the AV20 and the AV30. I'll show you the instrument. So let's turn on the UAvionics AV30C EFIS system. It boots up fairly quickly and then when it turns on it goes into an alignment mode. Uh, this alignment mode takes a few moments uh, while it orientates itself. I have this to come up in the attitude indicator mode which is much like a primary uh, flight display. The way I have mine configured I have uh, a directional gyro with heading indicator, I've got an altimeter, uh, the barometric pressure, vertical speed, indicated airspeed. So it is highly customizable and you have three screens. We have one of three. Notice in my second of three I've included an AOA and a vertical trend. And on the third, well I have a user to find that. <laughs> and then we have a, a straight attitude indicator that looks just like your standard attitude indicator with a slip skid built in. So let's go to this one. Uh, with this menu, I push the left button. I can then set uh, user definable fields. Uh, these are uh, definable. These include heading, bus voltage, if you have an autopilot, the selected altitude, vertical speed, and G load, and then a whole bunch of GPS uh, functions. Over here I have the same set of functions I can set. Down here I, you have indicated airspeed, you can choose to have it on or off. Uh, and then down in the lower left hand corner I have the same customizable fields I have in the upper right and upper left corners. This allows you to have a, uh, a screen uh, for VFR or IFR or navigation as your primary flight display. Also along with the straight attitude indicator if you're using it as an attitude indicator for instrument flight. If I push and hold the center button I go into the DG mode. This is a multi-function flight display. The DG heading indicator here, I can uh, adjust my directional gyro. I can adjust my heading bug. If I push and hold the heading bug, it comes to my current heading. I have a HSI, which will give me uh, centerline deviations with my GPS input, with a heading bug, distance to my next waypoint, what the waypoint uh, is. I've got a GPS map screen available to me. 
And then all of these screens also have customizable information on them. They call this the GPS arc. I call it the GPS map. But user-definable user fields. And then in the DG mode, I can also pull up the attitude indicator. If you put an AV30 in your attitude indicator hole and an AV30 in your directional gyro hole, you'd really have a primary flight display and a multi-function flight display giving you a, a full EFIS that included bus voltage, slip skid, climb, turn and bank, directional gyro, heading bug, altimeter, airspeed indicator. The airspeed indicator has the customizable fields that uh, show flap operational range, normal operational range, VNE. Some things that I was a little trepidatious about with the AV30 was how would this information display to the pilot? And what I found is that this information displays very clearly to the pilot. Uh, it's not difficult to read. There is a bunch of information being shown to you in a very clear and concise way in a compact area. The few times I've flown it since I've put the AV30 in, I have not looked at my other instruments. I've been able to find all the relevant information that I needed for flight in one instrument. That's going to increase safety uh, and situational awareness, allowing me to look outside and then only have to look at one gauge versus look outside and then scan gauges. There's a few other uh, features available on this, such as density, altitude, and outside air temperature. I don't have those available because I have uh, the true airspeed, the density, altitude, and the outside air temperature all uh, covered in my AV20. And I didn't want to put another temperature probe on. Our traffic stands in 927 Delta departing to the northeast, Oakland Road, runway 27. All right. Airspeed should come alive at 80. Pardon me, at 40. Airspeed comes alive at 40 knots. This is standard on most aircraft instruments. There it is, 50. We're showing airspeed. You can see over here the tape is starting to show uh, starting to show the airspeeds. The angle of attack is working right now. We're off. So we'll head out now that we see it's showing. I've got an indicated airspeed of 118. We've got a vertical speed that's working. Our altimeter showing us. Uh, 2050, which is exactly, the, or 2050, which is exactly what our uh, calibrated uh, altimeter is showing. I've got uh, the heading bug up, and it shows level flight when I'm in level flight. And while this doesn't have a speed tape, it does show your uh, stall, VNE, VNO, and then your flap range here, and a, uh, a tick, uh, uh, an indicator that shows where you are. This white line shows where you are within those ranges. That works about as good as a speed tape, so I, I can't really complain. I, I like that addition. So uh, we're going to go up, do some style, show you the angle of attack, come back in. We have made it up to the practice area. We're going to go ahead and show you the angle of attack uh, indications here and how the AV-20 works and a stall type scenario. Indicated airspeed's coming down, indicating the same airspeed as the airspeed indicator. It should. Oh, should be total pressure. Over static pressure. All right. So we, our airspeed indication tick is coming down to the flap operational range. There it is in the flap operational range. So I'll put my flaps in now. Notice the angle of attack is coming up. We're getting an airspeed indication uh, warning. Yellow angle of attack. 
an angle indicator. There's the red, and it's just as it stalled. And there's the recovery. A plethora of information coming at you. Red air speeds. Angle warnings. Angle of attack indication warnings. In an IFR environment, this would be a, a, a great instrument to have. 55, it's red. Angle of attack's reading yellow. I know I'm in trouble. Just like with the AV-20, UAVionics has done a fantastic job and hit it out of the ballpark with this round gauge look. Um, it fits in my classic panel, allows me to have that classic panel look, that classic panel feel. But all the benefits and all the uh, uh, features of a full glass panel, and they put it in one three inch gauge. I, I've only used this for, uh, this is the third flight I'm on, but uh, every time I go up, there's just something about it I like a little more. So, uh, you know, what a great job. And if you're considering an, an inexpensive and affordable EFIS, um, this is affordable. It's relatively inexpensive, but it, it gives you everything you'd want. It gives you, av av uh, it gives you navigation. It gives you airspeed. It gives, it gives you everything. All in that one instrument. Um, and it's certified. So, what more could you ask for? I'm not one to advertise on my aircraft. I uh, don't do a lot of product promotion, and uh, I never put the stickers on airplanes uh, that are given for free promotion from, from, uh, from manufacturers. I'm putting the UAVionics uh, advertisement on my aircraft. I've got the tail beacon. I've got the AV-20S, and now I've got the AV-30C. Uh, UAVionics has earned my business. These guys are producing fantastic products at uh, really great price points for consumers, for aviation enthusiasts. And uh, taking what was one time unattainable to just a general aviation uh, aircraft owner like myself and letting me put them in my airplane. So, uh, these guys are doing a great job. They're upsetting the industry, and uh, I'm proud to be uh, flying with their products in my airplane. All right, we just got something in the mail. Let's see what it is. It's a UAVionics AV30S. Time for a new review. Do the whole thing over again. It's a UV, it's a uh, U Avionics AV30C. Time for a new review. Looked at the panel, pulled the panel apart, and got the original. What the heck? <laughs> all right, scooter with the great Michigan. No, start it all over again.